In the next set of tutorials, we're going to learn about a few more components that can really make our apps unique. We need to get to the App Inventor starting page. If you're not there already, an easy way to get there is to start from the Drake App Camp webpage and click on the App Inventor homepage link. From here, click on the orange Create button, which should bring you to the starting page. All right, I'm going to create a new project, call this Text to Speech. By pressing OK, that'll launch the designer window where we can create the look and feel of the app. I'm going to drag out a button and I'm going to rename this button to be called my speech button. Okay, and I'm also going to change that text to be something like press me. Great. The other thing I want to introduce to you now is in the media drawer here, this text to speech. So we'll drag that out and notice that it appears as a non-visible component. That name is okay enough for now. And so we'll transition now to the blocks section. All right, so here's where we're gonna put the code to make our app actually run. When the speech button is clicked, so I'll drag out this event handler block here, I want that text-to-speech to say something. So I'm going to call this text-to-speech one dot speak and have a message here. Notice there's a little hole here for some input to go into. I'm going to click on this text for the, the built-in drawer here and select this little quotation mark with an empty spot in here. Here I can then click on that and press in something clever like um, stop pressing me. All right, great. So now go ahead and connect your app to your phone. After you've connected your app to your phone, you should have an app that looks something like this. When the button is pressed, you get a version of Stop Pressing Me this, this spoken. Stop pressing me. Okay, great. So now let's build upon this app and make it a little more flexible so that a user could type in some phrase, press the button, and then that will say that, that particular phrase. So let's go back to the designer window. And we're going to drag out a text box. Okay, like normal, I'm going to rename that text box. Instead of being text box one, we'll call this speech text box. And notice that the properties here are, are, are very similar to a button. One thing that's different though is I'm going to have a, a small hint here as far as what could go in there. And so I'm going to say um, text to be spoken. And that'll kind of be, be entered in grayish font in the text box. The other thing I want to do is have the width not be just an automatic kind of version, I want that to be the fill, you know, the parent, fill the entire width of the screen. So you can see that the, the width of the text box now changes. All right, that's pretty good. So now let's go back to the blocks editor. And instead of having it say, stop pressing me, I don't want that. I'm gonna go instead to the speech text box. And I wanna get the text that's actually been entered into that speech text box. And so there are lots of different options here. I'm going to scroll down here, and what I'm looking for is a speech text box dot text. This is known as a getter. It's a, a going to get the text from the text box. There's a, a, a very similar method called a setter. In this case, uh, to be the set speech text box dot text. That's if I want to set it programmatically or set it with one of these blocks. But in this case, I just want to get that text using that getter block and plug it in right there. And that's all there is to it. Now, the app, I can click on that text box and type in whatever I want to. And now when I press the button, Hello. right, it says whatever text is going to be inside that text box. All right, great. Another quick thing that I'm going to show you here is we go back to the designer window. I'm going to go to the sensors and drag out an accelerometer sensor. All right, so this is going to be something that's going to use the accelerometer on the phone or on the, the tablet so that they could be having some sort of event triggering something to happen. So in this case, the accelerometer sensor, I'm going to click on that. And when I say, when, it, when the accelerometer is shaken, 
I can do some code. So let's drag that out here as well. And one of the things I can do is I can copy a block that I've had create, created earlier and just paste that. So using the uh, Command C, Command V keystrokes, I can save myself a lot of clicking and dragging and put some, some uh, blocks down here when the accelerometer it was, was, has been shaken. In this case, maybe I want to do the speech docs, the speech text box, or maybe I want to do something, um, something different, you know, something like stop shaking me. You can play around with that however you want to. So at the end though, this, what the app will do is whenever the button is pressed, it'll have whatever text is inside of that text box be spoken. And if you're actually to shake the phone, it should say, stop shaking me. So give that a try.